Hello, Ryan Williams here with Remax, and it is another video update for you. This one is for October 2023, and any stats we talk about are from September. Before we get into the stats and the market update, a couple things. Recently, I just went to Vancouver for the annual Remax Activate conference, and it was a great experience. Vancouver is a wonderful city, but it was a, a great way to remind me and uh, all of my colleagues why Remax is number one in the world. And in Canada and definitely in the Valley, we are 42% of the sales in the Valley. The next closest is 30%. So uh, super good things there for Remax. Upcoming, if you are a client and you are my client and friends and family database, you'll be getting an invite to a client uh, movie, my annual movie morning, and that'll be November 18th. And if you're a skier or snowboarder or a mountain winter mountain user, sales will start picking up. So if you're thinking of selling, now's a good time to get on the market. November and January are the two busiest months to sell up on Mount Washington. Now, and again, and this is the analytical part of the market update for October, 2023. There they are, the numbers that tell the story. So what we are looking at for telling the story of those charts are for single family homes in September, comparing to September of 2022, we are actually in a better sell seller's market than we were last year. So number of listings that came on the market was down 21%. The number of sales were exactly the same. Um, so 49 sales compared to 49 last year. Uh, number of listings that came on were 81 compared to 103 last year. The average sale price this year, 886 in September compared to 828 last year. And time on the market, uh, sorry, active listings on the market, 157 this year compared to 219 last year. So interest rates have gone up. For some reason, there's fewer sellers putting their houses on the market and buyers are looking to find places to buy. So we do have a bit of a seller's market going on um, in some price ranges. We are seeing some multiple, uh, some multiple offers, but we are also seeing some homes sit on the market as well, especially in a little higher price range. In the condo and row house patio home market, we are seeing the same thing. We are seeing more active listings last year on the market than this year. So uh, the average sale price in the patio home townhouse market is 632 this year compared to 607 last year. And in the apartment style condos, we are seeing uh, a little difference there. 494,000 for average sale price last year compared to 366 this year. Uh, we are up in sales this year in both those categories as well. So there you are, there's the stats. We'll see you in November. And if you know anyone wanting to buy or sell properties in the Comox Valley, think of me, Ryan Williams, and you can find me at ryanwilliams.ca.